Hi, now that I have drawn in all of the first floor internal walls, columns, doors and windows, it is a good time to cut the slab for the staircase and the ramp. Before I do this, I want to make sure that the first floor becomes the first floor layer so I can easily switch between the ground floor and the first floor. So select everything and then deselect the ground floor. Now you can make this a group. Then go into your layers and add a new layer called first floor. Then reselect your new layer and assign it to the first floor layer. Now you can actually turn off your first floor so you can access your ground floor. It's very convenient. The next thing that I want to do is draw the shapes of my ramp and my staircase that I need to cut so I can easily reference them. So I'm going to use the rectangle tool here. And then I'm going to turn off the first floor. And this is the shape now that I want to take. So using the line tool, Going to move this up and turn the first floor back on. So now I have the shape that I want to cut out for my staircase and the shape that I want to cut out for my ramp. Be aware that when you cut the voids into your slab, it is going to reset the slab. And because currently the slab tool requires footings, it will regenerate them. So the bad news is that you have to re-edit the slab. The good news is that this will get easier once the uh, new slab tool has been updated. So I'll show you what I mean by that. Right click on the slab and then add void or stairwell. And then now I'm going to cut my slab and you can see that the slab is lowered and it has regenerated the footing so I don't want to edit the slab at the moment I just want to reset the height so bring it back up another 300 millimeters and before editing it, editing it further cut this shape otherwise you're going to have to edit it twice And this is a simple tracing exercise. Now that you've made both of the cuts, you can edit the slab. Get rid of the footings and then push and pull to meet the exterior wall. Finally, don't forget to delete your reference lines.